Gentlemen, what is sitting before you on the table, it might seem inferior, but it is something that could actually save your life. In order to influence a culture, you have to understand the culture. And if you don't understand the culture, then all you do is spend top and money. What we refer to as our culture as a people has made many of us vulnerable to HIV. Our country has been a very ancient country. Sometimes we like, people like to think in terms or refer to us as the coming of Columbus. But we, we, we have that conf uh, spiritual contact before Columbus with our own indigenous people, which go back for millennia. So what remains of it, the spirituality still exists. Where Trinidad and Tobago and the wider Caribbean is concerned, the pandemic that we're fighting is not really HIV, you know. It's our culture. And it's our culture as a Caribbean people. We love to have sex. There is no more sexual activity per capita in the Caribbean, or even in Africa for that point of view, uh, in terms of making a link with HIV. He has to be a macho male. Uh, he has to have deputies, not one uh, person at home. And that we know is uh, a definite cause of the promotion of the disease. You might have married her and she would be slim and sexy and all of a sudden she, she put on some weight but you're still turned on by this woman. 25 years down the line, then that's a macho man. That is talent. That is... Uh, that, that. The Caribbean man is no more macho than the African man, is no more macho than the Canadian man, the British man or the American man. I have this sex drive might be the most powerful urge that we have, the, the urge to meet. Um, that can kill you. People might say, you know, being a virgin is a burden, right, you know, with rhymes and that kind of way, but it's not, it's not. I'm a virgin and I am proud, so what if I don't follow the crowd? Because you, you go out, you have, you have unprotected sex, um, you can spread that disease to someone else. So we're saying, listen, look, live long, to be happy, no sex before marriage. I mean, I have to commend quite a number of you gentlemen who put up your hand and say that you are virgins, because, let's be real. Trinidad and Tobago as beautiful women. It has not seeped into the Muslim community as it has with other societies in Trinidad. This is our experiences. If you are living your life as an Orisha devotee the way you're supposed to, it should be very challenging, very difficult for you to contract HIV. Much of the, the Watch the Position campaign has focused on, on the youth uh, because we found that that's where the infections in terms of the highest incidence was occurring within the, within the 15 to 24 population. You know, fire. I was diagnosed with the virus four years ago and I will be honest with you I didn't want to see a pack of condoms because I didn't love to have sex plain like that because the sensation was better. Yeah. It's all right to have sex with multiple partners, but hey, take a condom before you have it. Well, the religious organization are saying, no, it is not all right. We are not animals. No, we don't need that. Our community, you know, we don't engage in those sort of activities in terms of risky sexual practices. Our community don't have HIV. HIV is, is not present in this community I and mean, in some other community in, in some cultures you have where listen give me sex because you know what tonight I intend to do it and do it very lawless it's pure sexual performances that are taking place gyrations open open um, 
sexual behavior. When I talk to people, I don't get the impression that 90% or even 50% of the people who contract HIV AIDS can trace their contraction of that back to the months before carnival. And when I think of the number of young people who are behind steel drums right through the night, hey, them kids could have been in somebody's bed. was happening long before I was even conceived. The jumping and waving was happening long before. The partying, the cheating, the infidelity. So how could you blame a generation that came into a culture that was set by older people? Some of the artists that may have been uh, singing songs that could have led to, to unsafe behavior in the past have been recruited and sometimes with tools that aren't even financial. I've got the fire to find them out. What you wicked evil people, them are one of them out. I've got the fire to find them out. Ceaseless fire with the people at home. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.